right, welcome back, everybody. For some members' first content, this is my Wednesday watch list for New Comic Book Day, August 16th, 2023. So these are the books that are coming out this week that I'm keep, keeping my eye on to see if they uh, you know, continue to maintain some of these higher than uh, average prices or if they heat up at all. And things I just want to see, like when the new release comics come out this week. Stuff I want to read, cool covers I'm just going to go pick up, some incentives, etc. Hopefully you're enjoying this series as well as everything else here on the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. Keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel as we are on our way to 3K. And if you want to see what books I'm keeping my eye on this week, just hang on for a few seconds after the intro and I will be right back. Okay, so we're going to start the watch list off with our buzz books. These are the books that I hear people talking about. They're looking forward to uh, FOC talks, you know, pre-orders, etc. Things that I think people are just genuinely interested in beyond myself that are looking forward to some of these books. Starting off with more Spider-Boy. Yes, more Spider-Boy as his story trickles out as little bits being revealed here or there uh, throughout some of these spider books. Next up, Spider-Man number 11 with Spider-Boy right there, front and center on the cover. Multiple covers for this book. I mean, we're talking about, you know, uh, cover A, and then we got a cover B there. There's a Peach Pomoko, which is also the incentive version for that Peach. Like, you, get, you take that book, which is a regular cover price book, and uh, we, you know, make it a version, and all of a sudden it's a 1 to 100 incentive. Granted, it's not selling for above ratio right now, so I wouldn't go getting crazy, getting FOMO, trying to chase after it. I mean, if you like it, go ahead, go get it. But it, it is what it is for right now. And I don't know of anything special going on in this book. It's just another Spider-Boy appearance ahead of his eventual, uh, you know, solo series, which we know is also coming very soon. I still don't know about this character yet. We'll see. I mean, they haven't really given us much to work with. So what can we know about this character? Uh, I'm not going to get too overly excited, though, personally. Uh, but I'll read it and check it out and see what's going on. Another book that I see some people talking about is this end of an era. End of this run, I should say. Maybe not an era, but uh, Zdarsky and uh, Chiquetto, uh, Chiquetto. I can't say his name properly. You know, this Daredevil run, which has been a great run, is coming to a close. And we will be restarting and getting a refresh on Daredevil very soon. So this is the end of a run. Uh, Daredevil 14. Also, multiple covers here, including uh, Chip Zdarsky, I think, uh, cover here with the, you know, mostly black. We got one of those window shade things that people seem to like. And there's also a one in 25 if you are interested. Uh, granted, this is still kind of continuing on Daredevil and Electra Daredevil kind of working together. And uh, we'll see where we go from here. But end of an era, end of a run is uh, got some people talking. So that's why it's here in the buzz section, along with uh, the next book, which we talked about last week. And the reason why it's still here is because a lot of stores didn't get these last week because they just didn't. Uh, and they're scheduled to get it this week. So maybe you'll see these at your shops this week if you didn't see them last week. Uh, and we are talking about Dwellings. This is that kind of horror Harvey looking book that we're getting from Oni. Uh, $10 cover, but it is an oversized, very, very thick book. I actually did just get mine uh, in hand. So I could show you which ones I got. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You guys... Figure. I got this book. I got the cover A. I also got the cover D because I like that uh, kind of Japanese style tattoo look there. Uh, there is also a B and a C, but uh, for another 10 bucks a piece, I wasn't going to go and buy these as well. I figured getting the two was enough. I mean, it's 20 bucks already. I'm into it just to read these two little stories because there's two stories inside this kind of anthology book, uh, horror Harvey style kind of kids book kind of thing going. And it's going to be a three issue series total. Uh, and yes, there is a one in 10, which I did not get. This thing is still selling at a bit of a premium from last week, continuing through this week. It's still about 40 to 50 bucks for this one in 10. So again, I know this was here last week, but we're still talking about it. Cause like I said, some shops didn't get it last week. They're getting it this week for whatever reason, delays shipping, whether they get it for diamond, wherever, uh, this is just, you know, issues, you know, issues people have, I guess, in getting some of these books. Like I said, I ordered mine and got them in the mail just a couple of days ago, so I don't have to wait. I already got them in hand. So some places did get them, but not everybody. Uh, but also, as I mentioned before, weirdly enough, I also got this. I did buy another one. I bought the second print, too, because I like this cover, so I bought the second print. So that's 30 bucks. I went, in. well, actually, I bought these for like $8 each or something like that. So I got them at a little bit of a discount, like a little pre-order price, so it was a little bit cheaper. But still, it's a lot of money for these things. That said, this is the second print, which is also going to be out 
and has a pretty fun cover. And again, we could talk about it. I mean, this was FOC last week, so it's already too late, but there's a third print coming uh, that has like a recolored version of that cover A as well as the bloody covered, you know, one in 10. So just reused uh, art there, but still kind of cool. All right, that all said, I do want to read like the Daredevil book. I got to catch up. I'm a little bit behind, but I do want to catch up and read Daredevil. I will probably be checking out Spider Boy, but apart from that, here are some other books that I have on my reading list for this week that, yeah, I'm just going to put at the top of the pile. When I get my books, these will probably go to the top and I'll probably read these first. First up, Void Rivals. All right. I mean, it's been a little underwhelming so far, these first two issues, but I'm still kind of interested in seeing where we're going as they build out this Energon universe. So I'm still on board for now. So Void Rivals 3 is coming out this week, and we're going to get a, hopefully a little bit more of this story. There's A cover. There's also a B cover. Uh, and then there was a whole pile of incentives as they've had the first couple issues. I mean, we got uh, one in 10s, we got a one in 25, and we got a one in 50, if you're interested. None of these are really selling at a premium, uh, so don't go getting FOMO and chasing after them. They are what they are. If you want them, go get them, but uh, I wouldn't invest in them. because, Like I said, I don't know what's all going on in this book just yet. It's issue three. Don't know of anything important happening yet, but we'll see. We'll see where the story goes. Uh, the other book I want to check out is this new book from uh, Boom, this uh, Cull book. Oh, no, it's not Boom, Image. Another Image book coming out, uh, The Cull. Seems kind of interesting. They were talking about it as like some sort of Stranger Things meets Goonies. I don't know, some sort of horror, I guess, and uh, younger uh, kids angle, maybe. I I'm just intrigued. I'm also intrigued by this cover, which I think is pretty awesome. Kelly Thompson. Uh, it's Mattia de Ilui. I can't say the name. You, you guys can look it up for yourselves. This is the cover A. There's also many other covers, including a cover B. I might not be getting these right as far as which one's B, C, D, but there it is. It goes all the way up through E. There's five regular cover price variants that you can get for this book alone. Then if you're interested, you can get to work on the incentives, which they have a 1 in 10, a 1 in 25, and a 1 in 50. And that Tula Lute, uh, Lute uh, 1 in 50 is pretty uh, nice looking. I kind of wish I would have ordered one because it is already selling for a little bit of a premium. So we'll look at this one first. There are a couple of store exclusives for this book as well. So be mindful of that in that some of these incentives might be out there because those stores will have extra copies of these incentives because of their incentive orders. That said, this book selling, like I said, it's one in 50. Yes, a copy sold for as cheap as 30 bucks, but another copy sold for 76. And then we're looking at the asking prices right now, 75, 90, $175 for this one in 50. So pretty steep asks, only a couple of sales, so we don't really know what the market's going to be. So we'll have to wait until Wednesday to see what happens, because we see this a lot. Very high asking prices. People going fishing, they're seeing what they could get with these pre-order prices. And then come Wednesday, nothing moves. And all of a sudden, we're seeing books on hot 10 lists because one copy sold for a premium. But when did it sell? Did it even sell before copies hit stands? Like, did somebody just get FOMO and throw a bunch of cash at someone? Hope, you know, wondering if they're going to be able to get a copy. And then all of a sudden, market's flooded. And there's plenty of copies available for much cheaper if you actually wanted it. So is the book hot? I don't know. It's up to you to decide. That said, just here to report what I see. As far as what I see in the not great section, yep. There's always going to be a little bit that I don't like. You know, it's just a personal thing. It's all right if you like it. I'm just saying I don't care for this. Personally, the only thing I got to complain about this week is that we are still getting more Ms. Minutes variants. We don't need these. I don't need these personally. I go, what do I need eight of these for? On random books, like Uncanny Avengers and Dark X. Oh, no, Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight's got one, too. Why? I don't know. But we've got two more coming this week if you want your Ms. Minutes variants. It's overdone. You're just beating a dead horse, as far as I'm concerned. Just... Wearing a cool thing. Ms. Minutes was cool. I liked her in the show. Or, or I don't know I say her, but it's like an animate object. It's a clock person, cartoon. I liked it on the Loki show. I wanted to see it in season two. But these covers and these variants are really wearing my patience, and I don't care anymore. They ruined it. Anyway, that said, let's get on to later prints. The later printings for this week, we do have to go back to Void Rivals because we are getting some more... Later prints, in case you missed them. Kind of dig this cover for the third print. I don't know why anybody needs a third print at this point. I thought there were plenty of these out there. Heavily printed to begin with. Second print, plentiful, with multiple covers. Both, I got both of them. Now we got a third print that it looks like I got to go and get two because I really like this Jetfire cover. I just like it. 
And thankfully, there's no incentive. It's just a third print. And if you case you missed it, there is a second print coming for number two. I don't feel the need to go and get this one with the Power Ranger villain on the cover. I'm just going to get that Jetfire. But that's probably, that's just me. In case you missed the sickness, there is a second print coming for that as well. This bright green cover. I'm curious, but again, I don't know. I'm only mildly, mildly curious. But we'll see. This one could go a little bit up. I know that first book was selling. People were talking about it. People were out there searching, hunting, and flipping this thing all over the place. So what will happen now that we get a second print? I don't know. But it's worth keeping an eye on, which is why it is on the Wednesday watch list to see what happens. Following that up, we do have a second print for Dark Droids. This one annoyed me because I we've known about this before issue one even came out that they were coming out with a second print. I hate that. Like, let's see if we need the second print before we start going and releasing this, because I'm pretty sure you've been to your shop and you still see copies of Dark Droids number one, one of the covers out there, if you wanted to buy it. So why do you need the second print? Yeah, it's got Boba Fett on the cover, so then I get Dom buying a couple of these. But other than that, is there any need for this? There's still copies. No? Well, whatever. That said, I'm surprised that we're getting a second print for Dark, you know, uh, Dark Tempest, Captain Marvel number one as well. But if you didn't want to pay for that one in 50 Derek Chu variant, you can get it now on the second print with some trade dress. It doesn't actually look half bad. I kind of like it. But there you go. If you're interested, a little bit of a different trade dress, you can get this cover on the second print. But, of course, it being Marvel, they had to go and give us an incentive variant for this as well. And this cover's fine. I'm not going to play it. It's pretty cool. I like it. But come on now. Just tired of these incentives on second prints. This one in 25. Uh, and until you guys stop buying them, they're gonna they're not gonna stop making them. So we keep seeing pre-sale prices like these, they're gonna keep doing it. Double the incentive, 55, 56 dollar pre-sale prices. So the asking price right now, there's only one up, uh, and it's asking 56 dollars. So as long as you guys keep paying these prices, shops are gonna keep ordering enough to go and qualify for them, which is gonna make Marvel keep printing them. But that means they're gonna keep getting this just because you just want these covers. I get it. I like the cover art too, but we got to draw a line in the sand at some point and say, can't you just use that cover art on a new book? Or do we not need to see this cover art repurposed and reused a third time with a different trade dress or recolored or it's black and white? It's a virgin version. I don't know. I don't know. That said, let's keep moving on because we are not done yet with our later printings because Marvel does have another second print that they want to throw at us and that is for edge of spider verse number three mentioned spider boy he's back front and center this is right from the guts of the book interior art thrown on the second print cover fine i don't have a problem with that no issues there if you need it go buy it but of course as i said let's repurpose some art and let's do another incentive on the second print and give everybody a black and white version of that one in 100 uh you know, Spider Boy cover that, whatever, whatever. I don't want this. I could care less personally, but I know some of you might be interested in getting this because it'd be hard to find. It's rare. It's low print. We have no idea. Let's keep that in mind too. There is no comprehensive or very reliable source anymore for print runs. We have multiple, you know, distributors at this point. You got Penguin. We got Diamond still delivering books, even they're getting them from Penguin. You got Lunar. It's a mess. We can't get solid numbers. And yeah, we can guess, but I liked at least when we had estimates to work guesses off of. This is like guessing on a guess. It's, I don't know. That said, let's see how this thing's moving. This thing is also selling for a premium. Thanks to all those pre -seller, or pre sellers and those pre buyers who like to get this stuff ahead of time and pay 40 to 50 bucks for this one in 25, which leads some people to go fishing and ask for as high as $145 for this. Whereas you might also see copies for only 40 or 45. So not quite double yet. And even that $40 one gets you a regular copy of the first print. Because there are first prints still available. So why do we even need the second print? But there it is. And it's the same art. Regular cover art on the first print. 1 in 100 had a virgin version. Now we have an incentive second print. 1 in 25 black and white version. Because... Why not? Let's all be dynamite and make a hundred different versions of every cover. 
I know, I'm just complaining. That said, let's keep moving and let's get on to the homage portion, the homage, homage, however you're supposed to say it properly. I never remember, so I'd say it both ways and sometimes a third way. But we're going to start off with DC and uh, look at this Tales of the Titans starring Raven, which, as you can see, pretty cool one for one uh, homage there from that original Spotlight Tales from the New Teen Titans uh, bit. So pretty cool. Redone, new art, but uh, pretty good, uh, like I said, redo. Uh, one in 25 wise, Icon versus Hardware, all of these incentives have had homage covers. And here is another one. This time it's an Action Comics 242 Brainiac versus Superman. Pretty cool cover, except obviously it's Hardware and Icon instead of Superman, but facing Brainiac. I like it. I like it. It's also pre-sold for a little bit. 40 bucks, 56 bucks for this one in 25. And there are none available. So this could be a tough one to find. I don't know. If you get it, if you see it at your shop, maybe think about it because it's a pretty cool cover and it might be pretty hard to find and could have some interest down the line. I don't know. These milestone books have maintained a little bit of a interest, a little side market, a little extra niche, 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 whatever. So there are collectors is all I'm saying. And uh, as I mentioned, because of that Miss Minutes cover, we are getting a brand new Alpha Flight series, starting with a brand new number one. And one of those number one covers is an homage to X-Men 100. So if you can see there, Alpha Flight homaging the X-Men. You know, classic cover. Speaking of classic covers, we're going back to that Ross. Maybe you mentioned it last week, but I don't know if it came out or if it was on the right book, but Oh, yeah, wait. Arcadia Avengers might have come out well, or last week, or is it coming out this week? Ah, it doesn't matter. We're getting another cover of this Alex Ross, Jim Lee redo. So, Uncanny Avengers had the Beast cover, whereas we're getting the Gambit, Psylocke, Colossus, Rogue bit being added onto it with Dark X-Men number one. So, Dark X-Men number one coming out this week adds on to this. Pretty cool. Also, the Uncanny Avengers not only has this X-Men version... But there's also the Ross Connecting Avengers version, which has that cover. I think we looked at this last week. And uh, then we, oh no, this was last week. Avengers 4 was last week, and this connects. But you can still see we're building this out. I think it's going to be four pieces that will go into one on this one as well. So these two come together, and uh, we're getting a big mural of Avengers, which is also kind of cool. And it's just for cover price. Can't beat that, right? Uh, if you've been reading or collecting something epic, they keep doing like whatnot, uh, just homage variants. There, there'll just be four covers every issue. Two of them are homages. And like I said, it's they're following the whatnot uh, method of operations. And uh, this issue, we're getting a Raiders of the Lost Ark. Pretty clear, right? One for one. And if that's not your cup of tea, you can always get your first blood homage here on this one as well. So, I mean, they're kind of fun. It's kind of cool. I've been getting them too just because they're homages, but honestly, I haven't read the story yet. We're a few issues in, I still haven't read it, but I've been getting these covers because I'm a movie geek and I like when they do these types of covers. And yeah, I've been buying them. I even bought that last action hero one. That's how uh OCD, how much OCD I have when it comes to just collecting things. But that said, I am looking forward to uh the next one because I like this series. I think it's funny, I think it's amusing. But Money Shot has had these uh pretty fun homages as well i mean we had those cherry pop tart ones uh, on the first couple issues but here we go we got a movie a silver surfer that's kind of cool i'm a silver surfer fan as well so i'm glad to see this book homage here even though i mean the things don't really go together but yeah still kind of fun right speaking of covers we are not doing a creepy cover section i thought about it but there really weren't that many creepy covers on their own to have an own separate section so we're going back to the old school way of just doing covers so creepy ones will be mixed in here with the regulars for this week. We'll see. Maybe we'll get some more to break us out again uh, next week or as we get closer to Halloween. Maybe we'll bring creepy covers back. But for now, just go to covers. So these are covers that I like, and I'll probably end up picking up. Starting with Harley Quinn, black, white, and redder. Chris Samney, pretty cool. Three-color cover. I like it when it's black, white, and red. I'm into it. I like it. Uh, but that's not the only cover on this one. We also get a pretty sweet Joelle Jones on a B cover. And then the one in 25 isn't bad as well with the like kind of smear wipe. Uh, I like the kind of, uh, it's like you're on the other side of the glass, uh, kind of a vantage point on that cover. Pretty cool. 
we'll see. I, I've, I've looked. It's not doing uh, above the ratio of 1 in 25. It's kind of hovering right around there. So it's not uh, selling at a premium like the issue 1 Sozo Micah was doing. But th this cover is not quite as good as that one. But I still, like I said, I enjoy it. But it, it is what it is. So if you're interested, it's right around ratio. Not going to give any more pricing beyond that. We'll see what happens on Tuesday. Because DC Lunar Tuesday releases. That said, more Tuesday release. Pretty cool Catwoman, right? I like this one. Yeah, I could have put this in creepy because of the you know dripping fingers and claws, but I don't know. It's just, it's just like a solid cover, uh, if you ask me. And it's a Tula Lote cover. I didn't want to put the artist down on a few of these because I thought it was uh, yeah, it was good to know. So this is a pretty cool Tula Lote that you can get on a B cover for Catwoman Night Terrors number two, right? Or Night Terrors Catwoman number two, uh, which also has a one in 25, which ain't bad either. Uh, pretty cool cover here. I forget who did this one, but I did like the uh, black and white and then just that pop of color with the uh, red apple and the DC logos. So I don't know. I like it. But again, it's not really moving for a premium. So if you're looking for it, you can probably get it at ratio or less. Uh, Matina did another pretty awesome Nightwing here. Uh, he said had some pretty cool covers throughout this run as well. This is another one. I don't know. Looks like some evil Power Rangers, but it's still kind of cool. So I like it. Just like I like the Wonder Woman. Uh, issue two of the Night Terrors, and this is uh, Jeff Decal, Decal, Decal. I, I always forget how to say his name. I think it's Decal, but pretty awesome Wonder Woman here with the snake spiders. I like it. I like it. There is also a one in twenty-five on this one as well. That ain't too bad with the face being removed and the skull underneath. It's kind of cool, but once again, this is also selling at uh, you know fifteen. 15, 20 bucks by and large. So under ratio for the most part, like the other ones that we've gone through here for DC. Uh, moving on, we did get this pretty awesome Christian Ward, Tales of the Titans number two. It's another Raven cover, but I like it. I don't know. Something about like the low lit and it's kind of the splatter. I, I don't know. I dig it. I just like it. it. The eyes draw you in here. So I like it. Christian Ward, pretty good cover there on Tales of the Titans too. What do I got next for you? Uh, I think one of the few Marvel, you saw that's a lot of DC. DC's been killing it lately on the covers, more so than Marvel. I got to be honest, but this Bjorn Barron's uh, Ghost Rider cover is pretty awesome. So you get that behind Wolverine's claws kind of angle, old school Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze style with the kind of blue uh, get up there. I like it. I like this cover. So uh, it's again, one you can get for cover price. So if you're interested, you can go and grab this one just for cheap. Granted, if this were an incentive, maybe it would be selling for some huge premium. But for now, take advantage when you get really cool covers for cover price. That's all I'm saying. Uh, just like this one. But this comes with a caveat. You guys know I'm an Adam Hughes fan, and I'm going to get Dark X-Men number one. I thought about putting this in uh, the reading section because I will be reading this. Uh, but it's the cover. and had me put it here. Uh, and I could have put it in the next section with incentives because there is an incentive on this one as well. But get yourself the trade dress adam hughes for cover price if you can but if you're interested and you want to go pay a little bit of premium you can go and get the one in 50 virgin version of this cover as well i don't think i ordered this one probably should have maybe i'll look for it later but for right now eh, i don't like going over ratio one in 50 is pretty steep so copies have already sold for a hundred and a hundred and twenty dollars on this one asking prices 90 160 185 well above that 1 in 50 ratio on all of that. We'll see what happens come Wednesday. There will probably be plenty of copies hitting the market because I do think there's a couple of exclusives out there. So once again, those stores that are doing exclusives will have extras of these incentives, so they will have them to sell. So they will be available. Does that mean prices will come down? Not always, but it's possible. So just have to see what happens. Just got to be patient and see what happens. But that's what I got for uh, the covers. And like I said, this one kind of towed that line and kind of played danced across that uh, line drawn between regular covers and incentives so we're just going to roll right into incentives following that book with some of these others got a one in ten sonic this week pretty cool i always like looking at these and if i can get them for uh, under 10 bucks i usually grab them uh but that's kind of where it's at it's right around ratio anywhere from like eight bucks to like 13 by and large so if you're into that into that kind of thing go and grab them these things get harder and harder to find down the road all these IDW 1 in 10s. I'm telling you, go go ahead and try to collect a whole set. It's only 1 in 10, but go back and try to get all the G.I. Joes or all the Transformers and see how well you do. Some of them get tough. They're just not there. So 
So keep that in mind. If you're a Sonic fan, get it now while they're generally affordable before you just have a hard time finding them. That's all I'm saying. Just like these turtles, people get, keep forgetting about the turtles. We do have a new series starting. Oh, there's one shot. I shouldn't say new series. This one shot hitting this week with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate. Uh, pretty awesome Raza cover here. This is the one in 10. And uh, again, it's right around that ratio, Mark. But there's also a virgin version, which is the one in 25, which, again, not very expensive, but not that easy to find. I don't think I saw a lot available. So, you know, keep that in mind as well, that some of these are tougher to get. So if you want them, you should probably try to get them, secure your copy early before you have to pay those crazy aftermarket prices. That's all. I'm only talking about if you want it for your PC. I'm not saying invest in any of this stuff because who knows where they're going to go down the line. I'm just saying just because something gets tough and hard to find down the road doesn't mean it's always expensive. It's just sometimes it's hard to find, even for cheap prices. And uh, you've seen that plenty on like Chasing Ghosts. Just because it's hard to find don't mean it's always expensive. Uh, that said, I was uh, stumbling at the beginning of this one because there is a regular Turtles book this week, and it's 142, and there's a pretty cool RI with you know Leatherhead there, kind of creepy. Kind of like this. This is the one in 10. And just like the other book, if you want a virgin version, one in 25, that is available as well. And both, again, ratio price or less uh, for right now. But who knows where it'll be down the line. Just a cool storm. Another one in 25 storm. I, I like these storm covers. I try to get them, but I know they can be seem a little redundant uh, at times. Like, oh, it's just another storm. She's flying in the sky with lightning. I get it, but I still kind of like it. And uh, if I can secure them for a cheap price, I generally try to. Uh, but this is a one in 25. Again, same deal, uh, ratio or less. A lot out there, not a lot, but a few out there, 15, maybe 20, some there, that 25. You'll see some also listed above. But for right now, it's still hovering right around ratio. So we'll see what happens come uh, Wednesday on this one. This next one has me a little torn. Um, one in 50 now on that Alpha Flight book. I've been liking some of these art atoms lately, but there's something about this one that's just a little off. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the eyes. I think it's just the eyes are just too, too, too creepy. Maybe they're just the dead eyes. Maybe they're not drawing me in. They're just kind of scaring me away. Maybe that's what it is. Just maybe I think it's the black. It's just kind of spooking me out a little bit. And uh, if you've looked at uh, Art Adams, like IG posts that he's posted that he did the art for this cover, and it is this weird shape. Uh, it's not quite comic book size. It's like a weird print. So I don't know how the comic cover is going to cut this. We haven't seen the actual, well, I haven't at least haven't seen the actual comic for this. So I don't know where it's trimmed. I don't know if we're going to trim off some of the uh, uh, the claws there to make it fit. Or we're going to trim off uh, some of the, you know, behind the shoulder. I don't know. But this is going to have to get trimmed to kind of fit comic book size. That said, this one in 50 is selling. Uh, I pre-ordered like 75, 60 bucks. So it is above ratio already with some asking prices out there as high as $100 and $175. So this could be an expensive one. This could be one of those ones that's uh, selling at a premium right off the bat. Or maybe it doesn't. Like I said, it's interesting. Lately, some of these have high pre-sales, high asks, but then once Wednesday hits, the market's just not there. Uh, it's easy to sell, you know, two or three books and get somebody, get two or three people with FOMO. It's easy to get them, but then... Once multiple copies hit the market and everybody has access to the books, then it's a little bit of a different story. And that's what we I like to see and like to track when we're looking at these prices. Because not all the time, because high pre-sales doesn't always equate to it's a hot book come Wednesday. Sometimes it's like, nope, nobody seemed to care. Or it's just, it's okay, it's fine. It's selling for ratio. It's a variant selling for ratio. No big deal. But we'll see. We'll see what happens this week. Again, that's why I like to do this. I like to look ahead and see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I can, I've can i made my guesses. I've uh, gambled a couple of times on a couple of these books. Gotten some right, gotten some wrong. By and large, I still just try to get the books just for me. You know. But that said, Moon Knight. What if Dark Moon Knight number one also has a 1 in 50 this week at David Mack? Pretty cool. Pretty interesting cover. Also, right now, selling for a bit of a premium. Uh, well... 45 but also up to 65 90 dollars but that 90 dollars is with the a b and c so it's still right around ratio so let's say this one's still right around ratio as far as the sales went but the asking prices are just above 63 65 65 120 again you'll see those fishing prices out there asking some exorbitant amount and uh they see what happens they just like to see what happens uh that said 
I have one more book for you. And this book is a high ratio incentive, but it is selling or not selling, I should say, because there are plenty of copies out there if you want it. And they're well below the ratio. We're going to start off with the cover price version of it. And this is a Stephen Platt doing Red Sonia. You don't see Splat doing many covers these days, or at least I don't. But Splat doing a Red Sonia, not too bad. But he also has a virgin version, one in 100 for this book. Granted, I think Midtown still has this, and it's like 67 bucks. So, you know, you're getting it at a discount of a ratio at least. So there are copies out there. Again, you can look at a lot of the big stores online. You can also look at the eBay prices. But by and large, the one in 100 is not selling for a premium yet. I don't think it probably will because it's a dynamite book. But it's a pretty cool splat. If you're a Stephen Platt collector, make sure you go and secure at least the cover price version. If not, get yourself this. I think there's also might be a metal version floating around there out there somewhere. But uh, I saw saw mention of it, but I didn't uh, didn't track it. But with that all said, uh, I got this one down in about 30 minutes this week. So uh, try to get it a little bit shorter. And I succeeded. I succeeded. So I got a couple more shows to film to try to get ahead of it uh, before my vacation. So thanks for the support. Members, you will get this as soon as I'm done with it. Everybody else, you'll get this Monday night and uh, you still have plenty of time to get your jump on your uh, you know new comic book Tuesday slash Wednesday uh, with that information. So hopefully you find it helpful. Hopefully you found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what books you did manage to pick up. Which ones you've already pre-ordered? Which ones have you secured that you see are already selling at a premium? Sh you know, share that with me on IG as well because I love seeing your guys' collections, your pickups, etc. Because I like comic books, so please share. Uh, let's keep the conversation going, and I will see you all soon with some more content. All right.